Hi, I'm Kevin Mitnick, and I'm excited to share this cool demo of how I can log on to my online sites, including my email, without using any passwords. I could authenticate, meaning I could prove who I am, just by using my mobile phone and my driver's license. So why not use passwords? How many passwords do you have? How many could you remember? I have tons of passwords to various online services, and I use a password manager to manage that, but I still have to use a master password to unlock everything. But when you use a password, you have to remember it, you have to type it in. You could be sitting at an airport and you could be typing in your password and somebody could be looking over your shoulder and they can get your password. Or you might be the victim of a phishing attack and there's lots of phishing attacks out there that do what they call credential harvesting and they trick users into typing in their username and password to log into something which they may think is their email or they may think is one of their online sites, but it's really an attacker controlled website. And now the bad guys have your username and passwords. And worse yet, you could be the victim of a phishing attack that deploys malware, malicious software in your computer, such as a keylogger. So everything you type Every keystroke you enter is monitored by the bad guys, which obviously includes your username and password. And of course, the easiest way nowadays, every day we hear about a data breach in the news, big companies. And what happens is their databases, which include their customers and their clients, usernames and passwords, are released to the public by the bad guys. And then, they, and then they're aggregated so there's certain sites out there like weleakinfo.com where you could actually search through these aggregated databases and find people's usernames and passwords. And unfortunately, people don't change their passwords that often or they use a pattern that's similar to their current password. So it doesn't take much work for the bad guy to work it out. So let me show you how you can get rid of passwords and use an easier technology or an easier way to get in and protect yourself against some bad actor getting your password. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and try to log into my G Suite account. I'm gonna bring up my mobile phone here. And instead of logging in with my username and password, I'm gonna use this application developed by Trusana where again, I could prove who I am just with my mobile phone and my driver's license. So instead of using my username and password here, which won't work, I'll try to sign in. We'll say sign in failed because it's been configured to only allow me to sign in using the no passwords, the Trusana app. So I'm gonna click the Trusana sign in. Now what I'm gonna have to do with my mobile phone is click scan and scan the QR code. And then what happens is the application wants to confirm that I'm indeed trying to access this website or my email or whatever. So now I'm gonna to have to go ahead and accept it. So we'll do that. And then the next step is actually proving who I am. So the way we do that is with my driver's license here, but we don't look at the front. We use the built-in camera of the phone to look at the back of the license, which I'll do now. And I scan the back of the license and that's all it takes to authenticate my identity. So now I go ahead and click on my Gmail here. I should be logged in and I didn't have to type in any password whatsoever. And here I am, I'm in my email. So this is a newer type of technology and I think we're gonna see wide adoption of this in the near future. So I wanted to bring it to your attention.